the three top cities in Ukraine where you'll find the most beautiful Ukrainian ladies that you want to avoid like the plague is what we're going to talk about in this video. I'm sitting with our very experienced matchmaker, Irina, who's our lead matchmaker at Match Guarantee. Hello, Irina. Hello, Joseph. So to start, maybe can you share with everybody a little bit about your background as a matchmaker? I have 18 years experience as a matchmaker. I had my own uh, dating agency uh, in Crimea, a little bit start in Kyiv. And uh, uh, I have got hundreds of happy marriages and I love this job and uh, I love to help you guys to have your, uh, to, to make your happy family. Thanks, Irina. I mean, Irina, uh, if you've seen her other lives, very true blue. That's why she's with us at Match Guarantee. And guys, we see you guys making this common mistake a lot. Looking for love in all the wrong places, <laughs> you know. So the message of this video is that there's three cities you absolutely want to avoid. But there's also five top cities where you'll find the most beautiful Ukrainian women that you want to go look for your other half. And that video is in the description below this video uh, that Irina and I did. So what are the top three cities in Ukraine that have the most beautiful girls that guys should avoid like the plague? First city. First city, of course, Odessa. Ah, surprise, surprise, hey guys? Yeah, this is very beautiful city, it's really so, and there are a lot of very beautiful ladies in Odessa you can meet, of course. Yes, the lion's den, it's the heart of Scamsville in Odessa, I, I think most guys know that. All right, be attentive guys, because uh, many of these ladies can speak fluently English and they can make the relationship not only with you, with several men, and uh, there are a lot of gold diggers, experienced gold diggers. Yeah, it's the mecca of gold diggers in Ukraine, really is. And uh, let's talk about why that is. Why is it that Odessa is the heartland of Scamsville? You know, Joseph, I think Odessa is the uh, international big seaport in Ukraine. There are a lot of foreigners, a lot of local rich people who is the sailors have the international contracts and a big salary in comparison with other parts of Ukraine. So these ladies are spoiled by them, I think, Joseph. Right, they're spoiled by the Ukrainian men, the sailors who get a good salary, right. uh, comparatively speaking. Right. Um, also, population-wise, it's got two million people. Right. So, right. a lot of large numbers. There's just a lot of, uh, numerical-wise, a lot of women in Odessa. Right. But also, what about the foreigners? The foreigners flock to Odessa and spoil the ladies too, right? Right, because uh, there, uh, even uh, some meetings, uh, they prefer to go to the south of Ukraine, uh, near the sea. It's romantic situation, romantic uh, uh, <laughs> position of the city, and of course, uh, uh, experience and very beautiful ladies. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, and and let's talk about the types of scams. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we're talking right from what taxi scam at the airport prevalent. Uh, yes, you're right, Joseph. Uh, it's uh, you should be very attentive, uh, even when you first come in Odessa. First with taxi, with restaurant, especially the small cafe along uh, the embankment. Totally, the like sea. there's there's restaurants even that have two menus: one in Russian, one in English. And if you right. look, if you compare them side to side, it's double the price you, for the English. Right, right, Joseph. You should be very uh, attentive. Moreover, uh, I'd like to tell you that uh, we have some uh, own ladies in Odessa and I had experience here in Kyiv uh, that uh, the uh, ladies from Odessa applied to uh, uh, my agency here in Kyiv to be registered. When I asked why, uh, they explained me that they know the bad reputation of the local agencies. So that's why they uh, prefer to be registered in another city dating agency. Thanks for sharing that, Irina. I mean, that's quite a telltale sign. Even the local uh, Odessa girls don't want to be registered in local Odessa agencies because even they know the bad reputation. Uh, so they don't believe they're going to meet a good man in Odessa, right? Right, mm -hmm. right. right. You're right. Too. Super. So that sums up uh, Odessa, I think. What would be the next, the number two uh, city where men can come and meet beautiful, the most beautiful Ukrainian women? Uh, but in actuality, they should avoid this city like the plague. What would it be? This is Nikolaev and uh, Kherson. Uh, the location very close to Odessa and very close to each other. It's the same situation there. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. So these, uh, it's kind of like a tie. They're both uh, right. ugly cities. Uh, well, beautiful cities, beautiful ladies, but it's just that 
uh, the problem is, yeah, the, th the ladies are beautiful, uh, but they're opportunists. Right. 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 I, I agree with you totally. And uh, some words about ladies from Nikolaev and from Kherson. You can see their photos, very beautiful photos, but uh, sometimes they scam with translator. If the girls even speak English very well, they said, or oh, I don't speak English, and they ask translator uh, to, uh, to take money for the translation services and to have the half of this money to the lady. Yeah, it's the other prevalent scam. It's the boots on the ground scam that's most prevalent. It's the translator uh, fee scam. So like uh, Irina says, even if she speaks English, uh, she should shut up uh, because the English translator needs to earn her paycheck. She gets a percentage of the fee and uh, everybody is, uh, you know, uh, on the take, gets a, a cut of the action. Uh, and they will meet with you, right, with any age difference, any kind of man, uh, fat, bald, ugly, 40 year age difference doesn't matter because they're getting paid every hour they meet with you on the translator scam, right? Right, right. I agree with you, Joseph, and unfortunately we had such experience, bad experience, and m clients uh, complained uh, on such kind of ladies, but it's true, you should be careful. And guys, the reason I'm um, interviewing Irina is because I want to show you, I want to I put forward to you some credibility. You know, uh, there's a lot of uh, BS on the internet and there's a lot of speculation and everybody's saying a different thing about diff this city, that city, uh, scams here and there. But Irina has been in the thick of this business, had her own agencies for 18 years and has a lot of successful marriages under her belt. So, um, you know, this is... In fact, the truth of the matter, these three cities you should avoid like the plague just because they're loaded with scammers, opportunists, gold diggers, and it's just, you know, not the place to come and look for your half, right? Right, I agree with you totally. Be careful. <laughs> and uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out, you know, interestingly enough, these three cities seem to be the cities where the companies that have romance tours or socials tend to flock, right? Right, Joseph, because uh, these old cities, especially Odessa, are really very beautiful and uh, place and really very romantic place. But uh, my advice is to meet lady maybe in Kiev. You're welcome, guys. And uh, to know lady better and then to have your romantic tour to Odessa already with your lady who you know. Well. Yeah, it really is, unfortunately, the curse of man, I call it. You know, we are a sucker for beautiful ladies. And uh, so Odessa, Kherson, and Nikolaev have some of the most beautiful women in Ukraine. And so it, these, you know, it's a perfect place to hook guys. And just beware, guys, beware. So we're suggesting to you, or this very um, honest, experienced matchmaker is su suggesting to you that there's... Um, a good place to meet them and a bad place. Those are the three cities you want to avoid like the plague. And next, what you want to do is click below in the description and see the top five cities in Ukraine where you'll meet the most beautiful Ukrainian women that have a lot of good girls, uh, predominantly good girls that aren't scammers, aren't opportunists. That's where you should look. So that's a wrap. Thank you very much, Irina. Yeah, uh, thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, do us a favor, subscribe to the channel. And if you click on the bell notification icon, YouTube will notify you every time we go live, which is every Saturday and Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Good luck, guys, on your journey looking for love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.